So after a very successful Kickstarter, the Switch Pod that Caleb and Pat created has now been delivered. Uh, everyone's starting to receive them. This is known as the Minimal Handheld Tripod, which is a good alternative for something like this, which is like the Joby Gorilla Pod, or if you normally use something like a hand grip that you would just kind of screw onto the bottom of your cameras like these uh, that work as tripods as well. This is another alternative that they created, and this is called the Switch Pod. And this is not a sponsored video. I actually backed the Kickstarter up when they first launched. So a lot of people now are just finally receiving it. In this video, I just want to show you what's in the box as well as test out a couple of the rigs that I plan on using on here. Just see how it sits, see how it works, uh, as well as see how they balance on the switch pod. And real quick on the front, it's just a photo of the switch pod. It says minimal handheld tripod. And on the back, there's a couple of photos here showing you attaching it to the camera itself. So let's get this thing opened up to see exactly what comes inside the box. Kind of pops out right here from the side. And on the inside cover, it says made by creators for creators. Not much of an unboxing when it's really just one piece. And here is the switch pod. Ooh, actually surprisingly for being all aluminum, it is, feels pretty light. I actually thought it'd be a lot heavier than that because of the fact I actually saw one of the prototypes a while back. Uh, they actually were showing this at Vid Summit last year, a couple of prototypes. I was able to take a look at it and uh, definitely a lot has changed since then. It is actually surprisingly really, really light. So from what I know, and I've seen a lot of videos of this, all you have to do is pop this open just like that and just like so, you know, now you have a tripod that just stands up. Then if you want to close it up and it closes, awesome. Now I know there's magnets in here, so that's why you're able to keep this thing closed up and it doesn't pop open. And as well as when you open it up, I think you can open it up with one hand just like that. And there's also magnets that's also in here that's pushing it out so that it will open up. So if you flick it out, it'll then open up and there you go. Now you have a nice, sturdy base if you want to put some heavy cameras on here. Now the tripod actually does come with a few quarter 20 holes. So if you wanted to attach something like a microphone separately, you didn't want it on the camera itself. There's a couple of holes here for you to attach whatever type of accessories you want. And then on the very top here, it's just the quarter 20 screws. So there's no tripod or ball head or anything like that. And I've talked to them about that before. And of course uh, they mentioned that, you know, a lot of people have different ways of setting up their rigs and they didn't want to put a ball head on here because there, there might be different types of plates, different types of things. So they kept it very simple as they should have, just like every other one. If you use any other tripod, it really is just the quarter 20 on the top and then you can put pretty much whatever you want on it. So they did the same thing and they have a little rubber here on the top to keep it from slipping. And then once you put whatever mount you want on top, you can actually go directly into the camera if you wanted to. And all you have to do is screw it here. Or if you wanted to add a ball head, I have something like this, which is a little Joby ball head. You can put that on top like so. And that way, now you can actually move your camera around while it's on top. And in the very bottom here, as I was tapping, it was actually felt like it was sticking to the table. And that's because there is rubber feet on the bottom of each one of these legs, which is really cool so that it doesn't slip if you're mounting it and you have it maybe on something that's uneven surface. Uh, as you can see here, it has that rubber feet to keep it nice and secure. Now, as far as the angle goes, this is definitely a very common type of angle because if you were to use something like a Joby tripod like this, you're almost always holding it like this. So they wanted to keep something very similar to that type of angle, but instead of having it go under, holding it like this, you actually have a straight wrist, which is this, and then you're able to still have that vlog angle. So let's throw a couple cameras on here just to see how it looks and how it performs with a few different types of camera setups on top of the switch pod. First setup we'll do is the Osmo Action. So of course, if you guys have seen some of my previous videos, I've been doing a bunch of videos on this setup right here because of the new audio adapter has come out for the Osmo Action. So if you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you guys check above to watch that video of how to add a external microphone to your Osmo Action adapter, which which then hooks up to this two prong, which is very similar to what the action cameras use. So now I have a quarter 20 thread here at the bottom. All you have to do is screw this on like so. Have this this way, just like that. And 
tighten this up. So now if you want to vlog with your Osmo Action or something like a GoPro, you're able to do that. And like I said, the angle of it makes it pretty easy because all you have to do is hold it up just like that straight. You're actually holding it straight and not like this if you're using something like the Joby Gorillapod. Uh, you're holding your arm straight out, but then the camera now is pointed directly at you. And of course you can adjust it if you need to just like that. So this is what it looks like with the DJI Osmo Action on here. Works fine and then of course, stand it up if you wanted to shoot something and mount it just like that. So if you want to be able to move your camera around in multiple angles, you're gonna need something like a ball head on there. And same thing, quarter 20 at the bottom, screw it on just like so, nice and tight. This, this little screw knob is really cool because you can get it nice and tight uh, hooked up to whatever you're putting on the top of it, whether it's the camera or a ball head. And here is my camera rig. And here's what it looks like with the Ulanzi cage. This is actually a Ulanzi cage with a hand grip. Uh, I'm using the Rode Wireless Go for this one, so it's a really compact setup. And then I'm also using this right here, as you can see, is the Joby head. And if you wanted to move it around, so if you wanna get specific types of angles, you can do that with this one. And as well as if you want to, of course, vlog, you just have to move this in. And I'll probably have to set this up first the way I want it, so something like that. And there's my vlog setup. And if I wanna open it up and set it down on a table, you can do so just like so. And this is what my setup looks like with the RX100 Mark Seven with my wireless Rode mic, as well as my cage on the camera itself. Um, this works out well if I want to vlog just like this. This might be my Vid Summit setup here if I, uh, if I like it, because I like how compact it is, and that's really, really small to keep. Especially there, it's gonna be a lot of people, but I like how this setup looks. I think this might be my setup for, uh, for next week's uh, Vid Summit. What do you think? And the one thing I was reading, which they highly recommend doing, is that if you have a heavier camera setup, what you wanna do is actually position it so that the lens is pointing right over the middle leg. That way, if there's anything that's front heavy on the camera itself, it's gonna be nice and sturdy because all that weight will just be directly over one of the legs and not in these gapped areas where it could possibly lean over. So as long as you keep it right in the middle, you should be good to go as far as weight distribution goes. But this is what it looks like with no ball head. I could put the ball head on here if I wanted to and put the plate on here, but this is just what it looks like without the ball head. And this is actually a really nice setup as well. So here's my A6400. I'm rocking the Deity mic right here on the side. Of course, I have my front screen. Makes it easy for me to frame up my shot. And then also, I'm able to hold it further away from me and it's still positioned down nicely. Angles are really good. Of course, if I wanted to change up the angles a little bit more, if I wanted to maybe use this and set it up on a table and I needed to angle it more, of course, I'm gonna need something like a ball head to do that. Let me know in the comments down below which rig do you like the most, 6400 or something like the RX100 or the Osmo Action. Let me know which one you guys think is the most ideal setup. Now it's definitely not you know, a perfect tripod for anything. You know, Even this, there's pluses and minuses to this. Like I said, so the footprint of this is kind of big, as well as if you want to hold your camera, you always have to kind of twist these around to make the shape you want. Uh, but of course the positive is, yeah, you can shape it and move it and hold it in different areas. Uh, with this one, you can't really do that, but you know, it's not meant for everybody. It's meant to have specific types of roles, specific types of purposes, the same way these are. And these smaller tripods too. They're not, they can't do all these other things as well, but it's just literally meant to just hold the camera in place in one area. Same with this one. You're able just to kind of place it in one area and that's all you're able to do. So there's not like one tripod for everything, I think. I think that's what people will always say. It's like, oh, it's great, but it doesn't, you, know, you have to have a flat surface, you have to have this and that. I think there's definitely a place for it, so you know, good on SwitchPod to kind of come up with something new. And like I mentioned, this isn't a sponsored video, but SwitchPod is actually giving my viewers $10 off if you were to order it before the end of the year, so before December 31st. Uh, I'll have that information as far as the links and the promo code down below in the video description. So if you guys are interested in picking one up, 
maybe for the holidays, make sure to share those links for a discount. As always guys, if you guys got some value from my video, please don't forget to hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. This is Alter Nastasio with flightpath.com. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.